since the early days of the Syrian uprising in 2011, Bashar al-Assad's regime has made it a priority to keep state agencies running in their controlled areas and claim that the regime is the irreplaceable provider of essential services. The regime has worked tirelessly to prevent its institutions from being destroyed and on the other hand also worked hard to make it near impossible for the revolutionary government to run these institutions. The Syrian Salvation Government, with all its hurdles, is continuously improving living conditions in northwestern Syria, leaving the Assad regime unhappy. Football is the country's most popular sport, but unfortunately with the outbreak of the Syrian revolution, the regime turned Idlib's municipal stadium into a military barracks, which led to great neglect. Just two years ago, more than 500 internally displaced Syrian families that ran away from the Assad regime were forced to live in the crumbling stadium, as they had nowhere else to go. The stadium has been struck countless times by Russian and Assad warplanes during one of the country's worst humanitarian crises. Today, 25,000 square meters out of the 40,000 in Idlib Stadium have been renovated and is nearing to be open to the public. The renovations have cost 225,000 US dollars and is expected to be open in the coming weeks. The renovations were motivated due to the great interest of the residents of the liberated areas in sports and their desire to return to a normal life. This prompted the Directorate of Sports and Youth to form a specialized sports federation and organize tournaments to play sports in the liberated areas. This is a significant moment as it represents the balance point between developing sports industry, satisfying the population's needs and promoting a healthy and sustainable lifestyle. والله ترميم ملعب البلدي يعني نشاط كويس بالنسبة للبنية التحتية يعني بغض النظر عن مساعدات أو مخيمات أو أو إلى آخره ولكن أنا كلاعب كرة قدم وهاوي لكرة قدم ضد هاي الفكرة.